Hello, welcome to another practice strokes. And I'm sharing with you one stroke painting and doing it with multi-surface paint. We've got, we're using a folk art multi-surface. It's satin, it's got a sealer inside of it. Um, it is wonderful. I like it because it's a go-to paint for glass, metal, ceramic, canvas, indoor, outdoor. Um, it's wonderful and it's got a nice sheen to it. And I'm using my double loader. Double loader helps you, especially if you're new and you're having a hard time controlling your load and your strokes, because that makes a huge difference. I've got floating medium in the middle because we don't usually use water. I put a little bit of water here so I can show you how I use a liner for detail, but I'm going to do the fur on the dog in white, the wicker white, a coffee latte, and medium gray. And then I'm working with the eye with um, burnt umber and licorice, okay? So first thing I want to do is kind of draw a cute little puppy. So here's the crown of his head, all right? And then you're going to come right down from here uh, with a V, right? And you're going to keep coming down like this and come all the way to here. And this will be the nose, all right? So when you're coming here, you're going to do this little triangle nose, all right? And it has a little bit of a nostril here, all right? And so what's going to happen is this goes out, the fur right around here goes out a little bit. And here, he's got some really nice <laughs> little bits of... It looks like a mustache almost that comes out to the sides, all right? And right above the nose, it's just going to be kind of choppy in here, all right? From right there. Now, this is just helping me see what I'm going to be doing here. And under here is some little fur that hangs down, and you really don't see the mouth, okay? I just want you to see that in here on this part here right in there is an eye and right in here is an eye now with the eye we have a circle in here and a circle in here and that's what i use this dauber for it's going to help us get that eye in there and in here all along here is real smooth okay the the fur right in there is going to come out from the eye I'm just kind of drawing it out so you can kind of see what we want to do. Now, way up in here, he's got these cute little ears. And they're going to be real fluffy. Okay, and it comes right in here. Okay, so this side comes up and over. And this side comes up a little bit. You want it to kind of match the other side a little bit. All right. So that's going to give you an idea. But up here, it gets fluffy. All right. So the first thing I want to figure out is what's in the back. What would be in the back first? Now, what I've got is I just want to share with you that this is the size rake brush. Now, if you look at this right here, they've cut the bristles. So these bristles are less than half of these bristles. And that makes it possible for you to have all kinds of fur and all when you're painting. So I'm gonna wet this and I'm gonna come here with a little bit of coffee latte and I'm gonna show you down here that this is the large brush. Okay, so you can go like that, but you can also grab some white and you could grab some gray. All right, now that's with a large brush. And sometimes I need smaller brushes. So these are brand new. These are on my side. These are two rake brushes. And the rake brushes are a quarter and a half, okay? And they're two different sizes, if that helps you at all. All right, so then if you come in here, we can do little bits of, of for a little bit 
smaller. And so when you're overlapping, especially in this area here, it's tight for, all right? And then let's go to a smaller. This is even the smaller one. So I can get a little bit of water. I can come right in here and we can just do like just even little lashes. So look, little teeny lashes. Or you can come in here with some coffee latte in white. So it's just from the large ones that are in my set. Um, if you get the signature set or you can buy that brush separately. I also have for big beards and all, I have, um, and if I'm doing a raccoon or um, cows or whatever, see, this is large. And then I can come in here and layer for like a calico cat or a raccoon. See how I come down there and I do layering. Well, that's a really big brush, right? So what I want to share with you is that as we're stroking this, we're going to go in here first and this fur that's around under the eyes is coffee latte and I'm on this black background which makes a difference okay so right under the eye so we can put the eye back in here afterwards but I just want you to see that I'm going to come under the eye and it's going to come right along here And it's going to come out this way. So up here, it comes, peaks out right in here. All right. So let's do that on the other side. So we're going to come right here tight on the other side. All right. So we're going to come back with some other colors right in here. We're going to go up over the eye. All right, this one's got to be a little bit longer just because I want you to see how you can create this fur and layering this dog. All right, so we're going to come right on both sides of here. All right, around the eye around the eye okay now on top of that so this is just coffee latte all right so what's going to happen here is i'm going to bring some burnt umber so i'm going to go this is the new rake and this one is a three quarter or a half inch i have to look it up all right so now what's going to happen okay so can you see that we're going to come right in here along the eye and pull this down. All right, so I'm, I'm getting a little bit of water just so that it moves easier. And I want you to see that we're going to look at this push down, lift, lift, lift. All right, so that gives us that little bit of extra shade along here and a little bit under the eye okay and a little bit around the eye all right now what's going to happen is we're going to go back to here now so i'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to see I pressure lift, pressure lift. I want you to see I can use a little bit of that medium and see what that does. All right. So as I'm doing that, look, I'm going to bring some coffee latte in there. All right. So then I could even put a little bit of gray
Okay. Black's making that glare quite a bit. All right. Now, what's going to happen is that this, all this around the face is going to come in there before we put the ears on. So I'm coming along in here. All right. And we can then come in here with a little bit of gray. A little bit of gray over here. All right, and then we're going to come right in here and just put a little bit of that coffee latte. All right, now I'm going to wipe off little bits there. We're going to go to the white. All right, so when we're coming here, we've got coffee latte and white. Pick up a little bit more. Can you see what's happening here? We're going to layer this. All right. So we're going to put coffee latte again and some white. And right over here, we're going to bring this all around. Okay. So we have the two colors. All right, so now as we're doing this, we're going to do some wishy-washy looking for, so the hair goes both ways. All right. All right, do y'all see how that layers? All right. So when we pick up the white and the coffee latte, you're going to get all this fun movement. All right, so if we're coming up along here, we're coming up along here, and then you're going to come right through here and put a couple little like, kind of nice. You make it really simple there. All right, so now on top of this frowny part here, we're going to bring a little bit more in here, a little bit more in here. And then let's go ahead and put some of the gray down in this area. All right, so it comes right in here. All right, we're picking gray, a little bit of coffee latte. All right. So what I want to do is I have a little bit of that coffee latte up here. But then we can bring a little bit of white on top of it. You got that? So we're building it from the eyes back. And I'm going to come right in here. And let's get a little bit of medium. Because we put some streaks in here. All 
All right. Now we do have a little bit of extra white that goes right along here. A little bit more white. Okay. And then we're going to come back over here and do the same kind of thing. There's a lot of gray in here. So we're going to bring it up. All right, then we come down with some coffee latte. And now we're going to come in with some white. All right, just a little bit. Okay. All right. So his head looks big there, but this is going to be smaller down here. All right. So I'm going to pick up some gray and white, and we're going to pull it all along here. So white and gray. All right. And so we're going to come all, because they have all this hair that hangs down here. All right. And then on top of that, some of this is underneath here. On top of that, we're going to go right in here and pick up a little bit of coffee latte and a teeny bit of brown. All right. And so what's going to happen from this nose area? Get a little bit of brown. Coffee latte and burn umber. Keep going. You see how often I pick up? Okay. So the nose is going to go in there. And the last thing I'm going to do along here. Is. Is we're going to put some white fur in here. So we're going to clean this out, wipe it, and then we'll do some little wire, wiry, wiry. <laughs> All right, let's put some medium and work it in. Maybe even some water. Okay, so what's going to happen in here? All right, so I'm going to use either the script liner here in a minute. All right, we're going to keep going over here. All right. Okay, so can you see he's starting to look like Sam? All right, so all you want to do is look at the the your pet that you have, your animal that you have, and you're going to go all along here and try to figure out what would make him look good uh, fur-wise, colors, and then you're going to come back with little bits of white, you see that? I want to put a teeny bit. Now I use mostly the same brush. But I want you to know we can come in with a smaller brush. And put a little teeny fur. Okay, so what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to put the nose in and then we'll know what to do from there, okay? Because a little teeny bit of licorice. We got black in the background, so a little bit of licorice here will look good. Same thing, you just use a little smaller brush. All right, so I'm going to come in here with a dauber with licorice and I'm going to come right in this area all right and I'm going to get black on this side All right, so that was a little larger. I'm going to get this one just a little bit bigger. All right, so then I'm going to hit a little bit of brown. And I'm going to put some brown in here. See, I'm going to touch and spin it around. And it puts some brown in the eye. Okay, then we're going to take off this. And we're going to put some licorice in here. Now what happens with this is we've got, it's coming up to a point and out to the sides and then down to a V. Okay. And that starts giving him personality, right? So now what happens is I'm going to bring a small little brush in here with a little bit of white on a two flat. All right, so I'm going to put a little glaze here and a little glaze there. So he's got a little teeny bit with one little dot down here. Okay, just a little bit of light. Now look what happens. I'm going to take and put a little bit of a glow right here on his nose. All right, so just a little bit of a glow. So let's put a little bit of gray in here. All right, so now I'm going to put a little teeny bit of licorice right here and right here. All right. Okay, so we have a little bit of the nose. And then I'm going to take a little script liner with some water. And I'm going to pick up some white. Can you see the white? I'm making it inky. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put some, oops. We're going to pick up the white. And I'm just going to put a few little teeny white. All right. This is a two script liner. All right. Now, if I come in here with a little bit more water and some white, I've got a few little whiskers that come right in by the eye. The other little hairs on this face. All right, and so I could come in here with brown and coffee latte and bring this right around here. All 
right? So we came right along here. Okay, so we're going to come around and just put little bits of white. All right, so <laughs> he's kind of saggy, doesn't he? <laughs> All right, so he's just got his head kind of turned going, what's going on here? All right, so, oops. So you can take some brown back into here. Okay, so there we go. Hope you like him. It's just a little bit of fun. A little bit of creative, all with this dauber, a little script liner occasionally, and mostly your rake brushes. Mostly rake brushes. Okay. There we go. <laughs> now, break this down, any type of color and all that you're going to be using, and yours, and there you go. Any kind of shape of head, take a picture, and you can trace around it, enlarge it, and trace around it. And when that dries, you can put lots of little light whiskers. I went ahead and did them all while it was wet, wet so you could see it. All right, I'll post this picture so you can see it more. All right, thank you. I hope you like practice strokes and I can't wait to see more of your samples. Go, please, please go to Donna Dewberry's official Facebook group. And as Donna Dewberry's official group and it's on Facebook, all right? And we get to share everything, show things, tell you what we're doing, get you patterns, all kinds of fun things there. So go join my website. And that's not my website. My website's onestroke.com. But please come join our Facebook group. It's a private group for One Stroke Painters. All right. Thank you. Subscribe and ring the bell when you're on, on uh, YouTube here. Thank you.